it's so nice it's so fuzzy mm -hmm. hey guys all right so today I'm in the bedroom where I'm kind of stuck with right now because I have a very busted knee and I can't walk I got out the crutches and that's basically my life right now there's a guy snow blowing or shoveling his driveway on a tractor a, mo a lawnmower this is Ohio okay here look take a look at this Take a look at this guy across the street. See him? It's a lawnmower with a plow on it. Welcome to Ohio, my friends. This is how we get shit done. Please be focused. Okay, I'm trying to get the focus right, guys. I'm sorry. Until I get like a set room, I have to adjust the camera focus every time, and it's very hard to do. I don't have an auto focusing uh, camera, so. Anyway, today I have a haul. It's part one of my part two haul of Epic Proportions. Today is the Ulta and Drugstore haul, and then I will have a Sephora and Lush haul coming up here shortly. I'm still waiting on one item to be delivered from uh, Sephora, and I think it's only one item now. But anyway, today is Target, Ulta, and Ollie's. I spent some money on it from my tax return. I ordered a bunch of stuff online. I actually went into the store before I got hurt and got some stuff. So what I didn't get in the store, I got online and it was kind of awesome because I ended up getting, um, I spent so much money, I got a bunch of free shit. So cool. So I'm going to start with the boring stuff from Target first. Most of this is like skincare and lotion and that kind of thing. So first of all, I got the Aveeno Active Naturals Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads. I don't use these for acne on my face. I use these for acne on my body. Specifically because I have boobies. Um, I get under booby sweat and that can cause, sometimes can cause acne. I know that's lovely and probably TMI for some of you. Oh well. Um, but this actually takes care of that really nicely. So I buy these. They're about six, seven bucks. Um, and I don't use them daily, so a thing of this will last me like one, two, three months, depending on how bad things are under there. Then I got some lovely, lovely razor blades and a new razor. These are the Hydro Silk by Shake, and I really like these. My boyfriend bought me one of these a while back and was like, here, use this and it wasn't my kind of razor and I was like oh my god it's not my razor and I ended up liking them more so I bought those I got a twin pack of the pure silk raspberry mist moisturizing with aloe shave cream this actually got me a five dollar target gift card and I had no idea they were doing some kind of special where if you buy certain products you get a gift card I was just buying shave gel and I was like oh a two pack that will last me a while and it's the raspberry mist which is my favorite skin to mint is raspberry, but this was the same price for two as one of those, so I was like, well, I'll give it a go. I'm all for a bargain and trying things out. I got new deodorant. I'm sure you really care about that, but it is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone. Um, I do have some skin coloring from my underarms when, you know, it rubs there and it can cause discoloration, so I did pick that up and... I like that deodorant. It works really well for smell and it gets rid of the discoloration. I'm also just realizing my camera is slightly crooked. I apologize. I can't fix it. I tried like three times, but it's not really working. So next thing is a giant thing of St. Ives lotion. This is the oatmeal and shea butter. I normally get the coconut and orchid one, but my boyfriend is very sensitive to smells and he's not always... He hates coconut, so it's actually one of my favorite things and he hates it, but we compromise on some things, but I figured I wouldn't make him go to bed and snuggle me with coconut smelling because then he would never snuggle me. Um, but this is the same type of lotion. It's a huge ass bottle. It's under $5 and I use this every day when I get out of the shower right before I go to bed and it's great, wonderful, wonderful lotion. I forgot about these. 
I got the K Bella Professional three pairs of eye masks, moisturizing eye gel masks. These were like two bucks, so I figured I would get them, and they're super cute. I won't, you can't see because my focus sucks. And then I got the K Bella Relaxing Lavender Aromatherapy Mud Mask, so I thought that was cute, and again, it was like two bucks. And then I got some e.l.f. stuff. Ooh, and the bag one. This is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. I have been needing a in-between cleanser for when I'm not doing like a major clean, so I figured I'd buy that and try it out and see because it's e.l.f. and it was three bucks. Then I got two brushes. One is the e.l.f. Blending Brush. I have used this sucker to death and I killed it, so I needed another one. And then there is the Smudge Brush by e.l.f. and I figured why not? I haven't, I don't, I can't find a good smudge brush that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So I just ordered some brushes from Morphe. Um, I'll probably, it, it was not many of them, so it was a brush kit, but I can show you guys that if you're interested or something. But um, I figured, you know, a little smudge brush might be good to have because I just bought a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, which is later in another video. That was what I got at Target, and then moving on to what I got at Ollie's. If you don't know, Ollie's is a, like, outlet type store. Um, it's kind of like a Marks, but it's cheaper and better. And they're usually around Marks. I don't know if they have them outside of Ohio. I have no idea. But they had um, a bunch of St. Ives on sale. So I got the apricot scrub and I got the oatmeal scrub and mask. I actually... Oh, I got another one. I got the pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub as well. I was really excited to try this one. I heard that one's really good. But the apricot scrub I don't use on my face because it is, um, it's got walnut shells in it and I find it really harsh for my face. So I actually use this on my feet. So I, I'm a little strange, but this is a really good foot scrub and it's a lot cheaper than most foot scrubs. So it was $2.79 at Ollie's, which makes me really happy because that's way cheaper than Target, Walmart, whatever. And then I got, woo, I got a couple simple products, and these were also $2.99. I got the um, micellar water, I can never say that word, micellar, micellar, whatever. The um, remove your makeup water. I've actually never tried these. I've been meaning to try them for a while, and I was like, for $2.99, I'll try it. And then I got the moisturizing face wash, which I know I like and use before, so I was excited about that. That was also $2.99. So, you can't pass that up, it's cheap. And then, we can move on to my favorite place. Ulta! I got the Real Techniques blush brush. I have been wanting this for a really long time. I have heard nothing but good reviews on it, and I was like, well, it's like eight bucks. And then, I realized they were having a special of buy one, get one half off. So I ended up getting two, and I got the um, stippling brush also from Real Techniques, and I was like, well, sorry about that, my camera decided to go stupid. So my stippling brush died a while back, so I decided to get another one because they were buy one, get one half off. And then they didn't have the ones I really wanted, which were the um, Bold Metals ones that I had been like craving for a really long time. So I ended up ordering those offline, and I got the arched powder brush, and I got the flat contour brush, and these were also buy one get one half off. So these are, I've heard so many good things about these, and I've been needing a new powder brush, and I don't have a flat contour brush at all, so I was like, well, I'll give that a go. These are gonna be impossible to get out, or I would show you, yeah. I'm gonna like break myself trying to get this out of the package. These are supposed to be really, oh my God, seriously? Okay, these are supposed to be really balanced, so when you're using them, you get the right weight, and I can already tell they definitely are. So, oh, it's so soft. Snowplow, snowplow just went by. They actually care about our road today. I'm kind of surprised. So anyway, when you're, you know, using this, you're supposed to be able to make the weight work with you, and I can already tell that's definitely gonna, gonna do what it says it's gonna do. And then, I'm not gonna open the other one right now, because there's too much crap to go through. And I want to do it before, like, my memory card gets full, because it just gave me a warning. So, I got the Biore Ultra Deep Clear Strips. I use these about once every three to six months, and I like them. Um, Y'all know that I've been lamenting about my nails being total, total crap 
So a really good friend of mine that does nails told me to get these nail teaks. Um, it's a formula. There's three different, four different formulas and maybe even five. I can't remember, but she said use formula two. If that doesn't work, you can use a two plus and that should work for, you know, to get your nails back to normal and use the oil therapy. So I picked both of those up. I've already put the formula two on my nails um, and I'm already seeing the difference and it's literally been like two days. So I'm really hoping that that continues to work that well because I, I need my nails fixed. They're horrible. And then I picked up the NYX Contour Palette, which I am super stoked to try out. I have been wanting to get that for a really long time, basically since it came out. I got some new simple wipes, nothing majorly awesome there, but they were a two-pack on sale, so I saved money. I got the NYX Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I've heard good things about this, and it's cheap, and when you shake it up, it does that, and that's kind of cool. So... Um, most of this left is NYX, so if you don't like NYX, whatever, why not? What's wrong with you? This is the NYX Ombre Lip Duo, and I'm excited to try this one as well. These are supposed to be really cool. And I got the color... what color did I get? Freckles and Speckles. I might swatch these for you, or I might just do a whole video tutorial with all my new makeup. This is the NYX um, Brow Stuff, which is supposed to be comparable to Benefits Gave Me Brow, which I use every time I do my makeup, um, which obviously I'm not doing today because I got all this new makeup and I haven't put any on. And then I got the Glitter Primer, which is really cool. I mean, look at the holographic there. That's so much fun. But I was trying to see if this would work as a cheap primer because I am obsessed with Glitter Fix by Glamour Doll Eyes and they're always out of it and it's kind of expensive so I was like well we're gonna try this and see if it works and if it's a good dupe and then I have the NYX Angel Veil which is supposed to be an amazing primer haven't tried it yet been meaning to for a while I got the NYX High Definition Blush in Taupe I am excited to try this and I'm excited to try it as a contour color we shall see where that goes I got the Finishing Powder by NYX, which is just like a white um, powder. I used up all of my Laura Mercier, and I don't want to buy it again because it's expensive. So I'm trying to find dupes that work for me. I got a High Voltage Lipstick. I have like three of these, and I like all the ones I have, but I haven't found a color that I'm really in love with yet. And this one is, I think this is Flutter Kisses. So I can't recall for sure, and it doesn't say it has a number on it. Um, I got another one. No, this one's Flutter Kisses. What's this one then? This one is... I don't know. Uh, number 14. So, oh, Rags, Rags to Riches. Rags to Riches and Flutter Kisses. And that's the two that I picked up there. And then I got a Full Throttle lipstick. I got two of the Full Throttle lipsticks, which are their Ultra Mattes. And I got 01 and 03, and Lord have mercy, why don't they put the names on here? Because that's really irritating. Do they? Is it on here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Con Artist is the burgundy one, and Kiss My Dust is the nude. So hopefully one of those will work. And then I picked up another butter gloss that I absolutely love the butter glosses. And this is the Red Wine Truffle, which I love the darker colors. So then... Because I ordered so much, they gave me a gift baggy thingy, a makeup bag, with a bunch of goodies in it. And this is like the super cutest bag. It's so very me. It's pink and gold, and it's just adorable. So in here is a whole bunch of samples that they gave me. So I'm going to dump them out and go through them. And the inside's like a satin liner. Isn't that cute? So I got a Free Shape Quick Blow Dry KMS California Spray which I probably won't use, let's be real, because I don't blow dry my hair. I got a Smashbox X-Rated Mascara Volumizer. I got a Morning Whisper Aquaflower and Citrus Body Lotion. I got the Honest Beauty Three Types of Glosses Inspired Kiss, Dreamy Kiss, and Creative Kiss. I got a thing for Becca Primer, which is, let's be real, that's going to cover like half of my cheek. It's not going to cover shit for me to try it. And then I got a couple, oh no, here, I got a Benefit High Beam Sample, 
which is just so stinking cute. Look at how cute it is. Um, I have this. I love this, so it would be nice to have another one. I got a tiny thing of high protein or high potency wrinkle filler by Nia 114 Technology Strivectin. Don't know really. Do I need that? No. I got a little thing from Murad, a hydrodynamic quenching essence. I got Chloe Love Story perfume, which I haven't smelled any of the perfumes yet because I'm scared to. I got a La Vie Est Belle by Lancome perfume. I got a Viva La Juicy Rose or Rose um, perfume. I got a L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner Packets. I've used this before. I will use it again. It's not like a big deal. I actually kind of like shampoo packets because the little samples are good for like three or four uses and they're kind of fun to have just laying around. And then I got the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment, which I'm excited to try, but I don't think that's a big enough size for me to decide anything and if I like it or not. I got the Pure Correcting Primer. I got the Pure Minerals Pure Skin Ahava Active Dead Sea Minerals Purifying Mud Mask. Good lord. And then I got a Ojan Rare Oil Blend Lightweight Texture for Fine Fragile Hair Hair Oil. So all in all, that's kind of cool. It's all like separated. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh my god. That's why I don't shake things. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Okay. So that little bag was completely free because I spent 50 bucks and I got all the samples. So I was kind of excited about that. And that is my Ulta haul. I have, again, my higher end Sephora haul is coming up. So you guys should stay tuned if you want to see that. I hate doing swatches in the middle of my videos, so if you want to see the swatches, stay tuned to the very end, and I will swatch out all the products for you, and you can see them, um, all the lip products. I think that's really all I'm going to swatch, because that's really, I've only got five lip products, and I didn't have, you don't need to swatch the contour palette, whatever. So, yeah, stay tuned if you want to see those. This is the Butter Gloss from NYX. This is the color Wine and Dine. This is the NYX Full Throttle Lipsticks in the color Con Artist. I can't get my camera to do what it's supposed to freaking do. There we go. And these go on so smooth and creamy. I'll try to get the next one on camera so you can see it. And this one is the Full Throttle in Kiss the Dust. Alright, let's see if you can see this a little better here. Such a pretty, like, brownie rose color. Oh, look, you're seeing all of my crap in the background. This is the um, High Voltage Lipstick in Flutter Kisses. Oh, totally did that off camera. Sorry about that. But that top one is Flutter Kisses. And then, yeah, I'm not very good at the whole swatching and cameraing at the same time thing. And I'm holding my tripod with my foot. And this is the other um, high voltage lipstick. And this is in the color Rags to Riches. So a total of lovely swatches. Swatcheroonies. Aren't they pretty? Ooh, ah. Thanks guys so much for hanging out with me today and seeing my haul. I hope you guys all stay tuned for the next haul. And then I have a empty slash cleaning out video coming up that I need to film that I'm probably going to film right after this one. But I'm not filming my Sephora haul yet unless, unless my package comes today. And then I'll take my lovely crutch and go downstairs and get the mail and then I'll film another haul. But for right now, that is it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all soon. Bye.